Welcome to Breaking News. We've got another great bit of news coming up for you. But first, make sure you're subscribed to Breaking News and hit the bell icon so you'll know when we post a new video. Also, after watching, join in the conversation below in the comment section. Now, here's your news. Matt Gates ruins Nancy Pelosi's week, announces plans to immunize Trump from prosecution. Florida Congressman Matt Gates overruled Nancy Pelosi and announced a plan to immunize former President Donald Trump from criminal prosecution. Nancy said this week, The indictments against the president are exquisite. They're beautiful and intricate, and they probably have a better chance of conviction than anything that I would come up with. You can actually bring President Trump in to give testimony to the Congress, and in doing so, immunize him. Now, there's different forms of immunity that take place at the committee level, subcommittee level. In some instances, for full immunity, you have to have um, more of a supermajority vote. But if you had a supermajority vote of a committee, like Speaker McCarthy could set up a select committee tomorrow that could bring Trump in and immunize him. And then we could proceed with the very legitimate investigative work that we're doing of the Bidens and the corrupt DOJ. So, Unfortunately, so none of those things are happening. Instead, Congress is is uh, not in, in Washington, not assembled. And I, I think the timing is on purpose. No timing in D.C. is ever just, you know, a, uh, a mere coincidence. And so right as Congress is leaving town, right as we're walking away from our equities, uh, you see this acceleration of activity against Trump. So, so, yeah, let's be specific here, though. So immunize him from what crimes, even if he's under current indictment? Is that including even the obstruction claims and give us some examples of how this has been used recently. Well, it hasn't been used recently, but obviously we're aware of the ability for any person to plead the fifth. You can dissolve someone's ability to plead the fifth if you immunize them. And so Congress has this ability that's been recognized. It's even laid out in uh, 18 USC 6002 and 6005 if folks want to look it up. But uh, there, you've got the ability to say, well, uh, we're hereby compelling your testimony. Uh, we're giving you immunity for anything you say to us and anything that that would lead to. And so, for example, if President Trump came in and said, I'm here to give you testimony uh, about the witch hunt, the abuse of criminal process, that Congress has a legitimate oversight equities to resolve, and if he were to say things to us, um, we could immunize him for that conduct that he were to discuss. Does it, does Again, it take a 